<laughs> Can she try to escape through the cat hatch? That'd be hilarious. A few moments later. <laughs> Ooh. G'day and welcome back to the Coco Couch. My name is Oscar and today we are going to be watching Scream. I have not seen this before. I know that this movie has influenced a lot of pop culture to this date. I know that scary movie is like a satire of it and I'm very keen to see that too after I watch this. So without further ado, let's jump into it. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> Creepy intro. Hello. Hello. Hey. Yes. This? It's Drew Barrymore. Well, I think you have the wrong number. Do I? It happens. Take it easy. <laughs> what a creep. Here we go. I'm sorry. I guess I dialed the wrong number. Uh, well, so why'd you dial it again? To apologize. I want to talk to you for a second. The voice is so, like, flirty, though. I wanted to apologize. <laughs> Hello? Why don't you want to talk to me? That noise. Popcorn. You're making popcorn? Uh-huh. Well, I'm getting ready to watch a video. This is some scary movie. This seems so, like, cute and, like, kind of fun, but I don't think she has any idea that this person could be a massive creep. So, you got a boyfriend? <laughs> Why? You want to ask me out on a date? <laughs> she hasn't even seen him yet. Why do you want to know my name? I want to know who I'm looking at. Oh, gosh. No. Say? Where is he? Look, I gotta go. I don't think so. Don't hang up on me. Yes? I told you not to hang up on me. That would be so creepy, man. After you find out that they're watching you, I'd be freaking out. Listen, asshole! No, you listen, you little bitch. If you hang up on me again, <laughs> I'll cut you like a fish. Gee. Well, the flirting's over. Can you handle that, blondie? <sighs> listen... I am two seconds away from calling the police. How would you not call them already? <laughs> to see what your insides look like. Gee, <laughs> that's a bit vivid. Call the flippin' police. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my gosh. Who's there? You should never say who's there. Don't you watch scary movies? <laughs> you might as well just come out here to investigate a strange noise or something. I mean, he's not wrong. She's not really being that smart. <laughs> I do have a yep. boyfriend, and he'll be here any second. He's big and he plays football, and he'll kick the shit out of you. I'm shaking in my boots. Oh boy. His name wouldn't be Steve, would it? Turn on the patio lights. Oh, you're kidding me. He's outside. Come on. Is her boyfriend dead? Oh, no, he's not yet. I want to play it. It's kind of funny because maybe the police could have got there by now if she called them first. I ask a question. If you get it right, Steve lives. <laughs> Name the killer in Halloween. You know it's nuts. I haven't seen any of those classic horror movies yet. <laughs> yes. Very good. Name the killer in Friday the 13th. Jason! Jason! That's the wrong answer. What? No, it's not. Jason's mother, Mrs. Boris, was the original killer. Jason didn't show up until the sequel. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm afraid he's out. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, oh. Gee. Okay. Okay, this guy means business. What door am I at? What? That's an unfair question. That's like the question, what is in my pocket from The Hobbit? <laughs> Oh, the popcorn, of course. Do you want to just turn off the stove, maybe? Oh, there he is. You're not safe. Are you, are you just going to sit there? What is she doing? Oh, oh, that's a creepy mask. Yes, intercept the car. Be like, hello. <laughs> Oh gosh. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. You're a good boyfriend. You didn't deserve that. Oh gosh. Oh, ju that, just like that? She's gone? <laughs> Finally, she's fighting for her life. Just remain completely quiet. 
I'm actually gonna see who it is. And the audience won't. Casey! Mmm, I wonder who it was. Casey, baby. <gasps> She was really committed to holding that phone the entire scene, wasn't she? Oh. Ooh. That is gruesome. Yeah, it's a boyfriend at the window, 100%. Yeah, good job, mate. What's going on in there? Flight leaves first thing in the morning. I won't be back till Sunday. Oh yes, perfect setup. He's not gonna be around for a while. Perfect environment for killers. The exorcist was on. It got me hmm. thinking of you. It got me thinking of us. But we started off hot and heavy. The exorcist reminded you of this? Things have changed and I thought maybe we could do a little on top of the glow stuff. Okay. So this guy literally just like rocked up for almost sex. <laughs> Can the killer turn up now? <laughs> Oh no! This isn't Christian. I'm so stuck by you. you know what my dad will do to you? You either have a line or you don't, right? You gotta make it very clear what you're cool with or not cool with. And if he crosses that line, then you know he's not respecting you. About the, uh, the sex stuff. I'm not trying to rush you at all. Did you settle for a PG-13 relationship? Why? <laughs> if you don't want him crossing any lines, you're not gonna be like, oh. <laughs> The was Drew Barrymore part of the school? Authorities have yet to issue a statement, but our sources tell us that no arrest is- Hey, it's Lady from, uh, Friends. Casey Becker and Steve Orris were killed last night. We found her hanging from a tree, her insides on the outside. Oh my god. How has everyone heard about it? This is the worst crime we've seen in years, even worse than- Well. That was weird. Did something happen to her? Sydney. It would appear to be your turn. She was daughter of, uh... <coughs> oh, so her parents were murdered or something. Or her mum. There's no way a girl could have killed them. That is so sexist. The killer could easily be female. Because it takes a man to do something like that. Or a man's mentality. How do mm -hmm. you get someone? You take a knife. Oh, here we go. It still was with me last night, okay? Yeah, it was. Did you really put her liver in the mailbox? Because I heard that they found her liver in the mailbox next to- You shouldn't be joking this much about it, right? Especially when they all are aware of her history. Um, I'm not sure what it's like in the US, but in most movies I see that are set in the US with like a US family, they always have incredible homes like this. Is that no normal? <laughs> Man, I always feel so on edge in scenes like this. The small community of Woodsboro has endured such tragedy. Only a year ago, Maureen Prescott, wife and mother, was found raped and murdered not far- Raped and murdered? That was only a year ago? How is she cool right now? <laughs> I've done that way too many times. Just sat on the couch and closed my eyes and wake up hours later. Tatum, just get in the car. Hello, Sydney. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Randy, you gave yourself away. Are you calling from work? Please be smarter than Drew Barrymore. What's your favorite scary movie? Come on, you know I don't watch that shit. They're all the same. Some stupid killer stalking some big-breasted girl who can't act. He's always running up the stairs when she should be going out the front door. <laughs> I'm not Randy. So, who are you? The question isn't, who am I? The question is... All right, this is when you get a weapon. Why isn't the first thing they do to call the police? Not even a weapon. So where are you? Right here. It's interesting that as soon as he said right here, she immediately looked towards a place like she knew where he was talking from. Get a weapon. Can you see me right now? Tell him to hurry up, okay? Bye now. Get up on me, you'll die just like your mother. You, you creep. Whoa. Oh, dude. Damn, what? Gee. Come on, please do something smart. Ah. 
up. She's going up the stairs. <laughs> well, I mean, the front door didn't work, so it makes sense. And this is when you go for the window. I was waiting for him to decide to do something else. Die! Whoa, dude. Door's locked. I heard screaming. He's gone. He's gone. Hey, oh, what? What the hell? It's his wife. Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> oh, dude. Why is he holding his gun? Billy Loomis. Sir. Sir. Call these guys off. I didn't do it. I've been framed. Sydney. How's she doing? Sid's tougher than she looks. I have to be all the shit she's been through. I mean, it was a pretty big coincidence, right? That he was there at exactly the same time. Her dad's out of town, all right? She's staying with us tonight. Yeah. Does mom know? Damned. What? Jesus, the camera, hurry. My name isn't Jesus. <laughs> None of your damn business. I heard something about a costume. Is that true? Can you tell me anything? I know that you're about 50 pounds overweight. But when I say hurry, please interpret that as move your fat tub of lard ass. She's taking it out on him because she wasn't fast enough. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Oh, that's creepy. What are you doing with a cellular telephone, son? What were you doing over at Sydney's house tonight? What do you think? I wanted to see her, that's all. Yeah. And last night? Sydney said you crawled through a window last night, too. Exactly. There you go. Consistent. I didn't kill anybody. <laughs> it's kind of funny, though, because you've got a real creepy sort of demeanor. You sell this costume every five and dime in the state. There's no way to track the purchase. That's smart. Yeah, get something that's very typical. God damn it, Dewey. <laughs> well, what did Mama tell you? When I wear this badge, you treat me like a man of the law. I'm sorry, Deputy Dewey boy, but we're ready to go. Gee, no respect, man. He's got a job. Let's get back to work. Oh, no, nah, 100% her boyfriend would do it. I reckon they're trying to, like, misdirect the audience into, like, thinking that he's innocent because it's too obvious. You know what I mean? It's like re reverse psychology. Don't move. Don't make a sound. Hi. Oh, boy. What's up, Knight? What happened? Are you all right? If so, how's the book? Well, it'll be out later this year. Oh, I'll look for it. I'll send you a copy. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> yes. I'll send you a copy. Bam! Bitch went down. Yeah, that was that was pretty cool. <laughs> You're so cool. <laughs> Thought you might want some ice for that right hook. <laughs> the little bunny feet. <laughs> Do you really think Billy did it? Who could have else have been? He was destined to have a flaw. I knew he was too perfect. What do you mean it's destined it's he's too perfect? What about her? <laughs> he's the one that's reaching. Hello? Hello, Sydney. Oh no! Looks like you fingered the wrong guy. Oh we'll find out soon enough. Nah, Billy could have easily made that phone call. Why do they always run out with a gun holding it like this? Like you're not meant to hold out the firearm. Cotton Weary is currently awaiting appeal for the death sentence handed down after the young Sydney testified against him. She was the key witness in the state's case against the Bill was clean. He didn't make those calls. Yeah, but Billy knew about her mum. He he also could have just run out from, you know, where he was standing at the door and came through the window. Wait, I just need to talk. Kenny? Camera now. Off yep. the record, no cameras. Forget it. Your mother's murder was last year's hottest court case. Your testimony put him away. It doesn't really matter what I think. You call me a liar. I think you falsely identified him, yes. She never would have touched him. He raped her and then he butchered her. Her blood was all over his coat. He left his coat at your house after your mother seduced him. I saw him leave wearing it. No, you saw someone leave wearing that coat. The same someone who planted it in Cotton's car, framing him. Sorry I mangled your face. <laughs> An innocent man on death row. If I'm right about this, I could save a man's life. Do you know what that could do for my book sales? <laughs> yeah, he was like, oh my gosh, she has a conscience. And then he realized it was selfish. <laughs> <laughs> That's so mean. What the hell? Why is that allowed? <sighs> well, Someone tried to kill me. I know, me. I know. I know the cops said I scared him away. His eyes just look evil. And I have a girlfriend who would rather accuse me of being a psychopathic killer than touch me oh okay. dude bro he's so manipulative you haven't been the same since 
I can't believe you're bringing this up. I know, it's been a year. Tomorrow. I know, well, I think it's time you got over that. Bro, her mom died and got raped. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, it's... What an asshole. It's bad enough. I want my girlfriend back. Yeah, sure you do. No, no, what you want to do is you want to make sure that there's no way that you can be accused. You make me so sick. Your entire habit-inducing, thieving, whoring generation disgusts me. <laughs> so, two of you... The sound effects of the scissors. It is not fair. Fairness Oh be to gosh. Rip your insides out. Hang you from a tree so we can expose you for the Dude, hardest. that was a bit messed up. They obviously did the wrong thing, but... Oh, I think she made it all up. Oh, uh, here we go. The girl has some serious issues. Yes. No, 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 no. You don't hide. Stand in front of their door and be like, bitch. Maybe she's a slut, just like her mother. You're evil. Please, like, oh, my gosh. And it fucked her up royally. Walk out, please. You are pathetic. Oh, they just get away? Oh, no. Someone there? Please, just leave. Leave. Don't. Just go. Ah! Nice. In what appears to be a prank, several students were seen wearing scary masks. School officials have yet to comment, but this is known to be the same costume worn by the killer. Is there a problem on campus? No, everything's under control. All classes are suspended until further notice. The woods the teacher in the background, like, ah. What do you say, Sid? I mean, pathos could have its perks. It could be fun. Okay, whatever. Yeah? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he's the type of character that would fantasize being the killer, of course. He's just so weird. Oh, is he gonna die? Dun, dun, dun. He got scared of himself. <laughs> Hello. Is he behind the door? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, gee. Well, everyone's getting killed. But I wonder why they killed the principal. place is back tonight man oh now that's in poor taste if you were the only suspect in a senseless bloodbath would you be standing in the horror section <laughs> it's just a misunderstanding why the cops let him go smart guy there's always some stupid bullshit reason to kill your girlfriend <laughs> yeah like she won't have sex with you what's his reason maybe sydney wouldn't have sex with you yeah <laughs> it's a pretty stupid reason if they watch prom night they'd save time there's a formula to it a very simple formula. Gee, Everybody's mate. a suspect. Gee, gee, calm down, bro. I'm telling you, the dad's a red herring. It's Billy. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> How do we know you're not the killer? Motives are incidental. Millennium. That's good. Yeah. It's millennium. <laughs> they all seem like psychopaths, particularly the uh, the tall dude and uh, Billy. Billy's right, you know. Whenever he touches me, I just can't relax. So you have a few intimacy issues as a result of your mother's untimely death. No, I think it's connected. I think I think there's a big reason for it. How many guys will put up with a girlfriend who's sexually anorexic? A good guy? <laughs> Standards are so low. Those calls are listed to Neil Prescott, Sydney's father. Well, there's no way a cellular could have been cloned. Guess what tomorrow is? The anniversary of his wife's death. Find Neil first, make sure he's our man. What, so they found out that the phone was connected to her father? Alright, girls have fun. Not too much fun or I'll bust you. He seems like such a cool older brother. His little sister just seems so mean to him. As much as I don't like this chick, I feel like just her role as being a journalist, I feel like shines a light on the killer, which is kind of a good thing. Oh jeez. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Do you mind if I join you? Not at all. I guess he really does have a crush. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gosh, dude. Hey, hey, grab another beer, would you? Hey, Am I the beer witch? Dewey. Hi. 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 What is she doing here? She's with me.
<laughs> the excitement that was so cute actually <laughs> it's just <in> the... <laughs> should i be worried yeah. oh yeah. smart see i don't like her personality but i feel like she's making the whole place just feel a lot safer to me because she's deliberately looking for something oh gee please wear something better than that <laughs> oh is she gonna get killed in the basement let's go <laughs> oh gee. How'd the killer know that she was gonna be there? Oh, can she try to escape through the cat hatch? That'd be hilarious. The hell? Oh hello. <laughs> Lose the outfit. If Sydney sees it, she'll flip. I don't think you want to be that close. Oh, or... you want to play Psycho Killer? Oh, please don't kill me, Mr. Ghostface. I want to be in the sequel. Please connect the dots. Ah! Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, ah, gross. I hate, I hate that. Ah! Nice, nice, solid. Fucker! Oh. <laughs> nice. Ah! Oh, oh my gosh. Ah! Oh, now, now make it go up. <laughs> yes. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Are garage doors that tough? <laughs> the killer's like, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> See, but this, her boyfriend was the only one who knew that she was going to be down there because he sent her to, to get the beer, right? Mm, what are you doing here? I was hoping I could talk to Sid alone. I'll tell you what, why don't you guys go up to my parents' room? Cutie came to make up. You're a genius. I got a delay. How long is it? I don't know. What'd it take you to walk from the house? 30 seconds? Is he going to try to force her into sex again? Gosh, man, this guy's terrible. I've been selfish. Mm -hmm. I want to apologize. No, I'm the one who's been selfish. No, girl, you don't have to apologize for shit. I can't wallow in, in the grief process forever. And you are paranoid and you have every reason to be <laughs> scared that I'm going to turn out just like her, you know, like the bad seed or something. Oh, that's why she doesn't want to have sex at all. See, look at this guy. You can't pick your genre. The second he gets a chance, he's like, let's have sex. What's kind of creepy about this is what the uh, the person who killed her mom raped her and then killed her. And this guy is probably going to have sex with her and then try to kill her. It's like... <sighs> don't you know the rules? What rules? You don't... Here we go. He's going to be a massive nerd about it now. Certain rules <laughs> that one must abide by in order to successfully survive a horror movie. You can never have sex. Oh, oh, no, big no. <laughs> you can never drink or do drugs. <laughs> it's a sin. It's an extension of number one. Never, ever, ever under any circumstances say, I'll be right back. Another beer. You want one? Yeah, oh my sure. gosh. I'll be right back. Yeah, because he's going to try to do some killing. The sheriff just radioed. Somebody reported a car in the bushes down the road. I'm gonna go check it out. You care to join me? I'd love to. Mate, she's so quick with putting on the persona. So what happened to him? She probably got pissed at me and bailed. Bye. The fact he barely cares, he's just dodging the question. Ah, uh, she probably bailed. God, this guy. Yeah. Oh, oh, lovely. Hey, that was that was, that was actually kind of a cool cut. That was the best thing you could come up with. <laughs> Holy shit. Listen up. They found Principal Henry dead. Oh. He was gutted and hung from the goalpost on the football field. Let's go over there before they pry him down. <laughs> and now he's alone too. People treat me like I'm the antichrist of television journalism. I don't think you're that bad. <laughs> no. No. I think that's just because you kind of like me. Freeze! Go! <laughs> What the hell? Oh gosh. Oh, there we go. It wasn't just selfish reasons. Is that what you're looking for? I hope 
Bro, just look. This is Neil Prescott's car. City's father? Yeah. We gotta get back. Oh, yeah. You okay? Yeah. No, she's not okay because she just did what you wanted her to do and she wasn't really ready for it. Ugh. Who'd you call? I don't know. When you're arrested, you're allowed one phone call. So I was just curious. Who'd you call? Called my dad. Sheriff Burke called your dad. I saw him. When I called, I didn't get an answer. Hmm. Oh, she piecing it together. I was just thinking if it were you, it'd be a very clever way to throw me off track. Using your one phone call to call me so that I wouldn't think it was you. It's all. Yep. God, look at him. He's evil. Oh my God. Sydney. Billy, yes. watch out. Nah, they're having fun. <laughs> Is it his friend? You can't misdirect me. I know what's going on. Oh, damn. Shit. oh gosh. Can you not find anything in the room to hit him with? I think you're gonna have to drop. Oh my gosh. Just go down. Oh no, not like that. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, she's gonna find her friend. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> Oh, oh, there he is. Uh, I told buddy. You. I told you. You didn't follow the rules. You got drunk. Look behind you. Turn around. <laughs> behind you. Oh, my oh, gosh. Turn. Behind you. Behind. Behind you. <laughs> Dude, turn around. <laughs> what is she doing? Why is she running? <laughs> Why is she going through a fence? Is there not, like, a pathway? <laughs> nice. Behind you, kid! Behind me! <laughs> they're doing Behind it. Behind you! What? Oh, 30 second delay. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> that was smart. <laughs> oh my gosh. A knife goes straight through denim that easily? Maybe that's why it didn't go straight in. Be careful! Oh, I don't want this guy to get killed. He's like the only character I'm kind of like, kind of like. <laughs> you didn't want to call backup or anything? Why do they always relax, dude? You've literally searched like three rooms in the house and you're like, yep, I'm done. What's going on? Oh gosh. Damn, windscreen wipers. They're on the outside. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this poor girl. Get off my fucking with you! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, no. So dumb. <laughs> Why do they always speed up? Yeah. Is that enough to kill someone? Shit. <laughs> well, this is a terrifying situation to be in. Apparently, she doesn't have peripheral vision. Turn her light, please. He's gonna try and kill me. Man. Desi, Jesus, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Stop right there. Oh my gosh. I swear, if she shoots the guy in the green shirt. No, I didn't. Give me that gun, guys. It's definitely him. It's definitely him. He did it. He did it, Sissy. Don't shoot anyone if you don't know. Fuck you both. Oh, God. Yep. Yep. <laughs> of course he's still alive. If it was real, he would have bled out already. <laughs> His acting is so good. <laughs> Yep, give me the gun. Yep, there we go. Idiots. Idiots. Look. He's gone mad. We all go a little mad sometimes. <laughs> Anthony Perkins, psycho. Corn syrup. I'm sorry if when you're watching this reaction, you're expecting me to be like, oh my gosh, what? Because <laughs> no, this is, this is a mile away. Rise, Sydney. 
<laughs> it's the both of them. See, we ask you a question that if you get it wrong, Yeah, they're psycho. We'll never get away with this. <laughs> Tell that to Cotton Weary. That's such a creepy shot. Why did you kill my mother? I don't really believe in motive, Sid. I mean, did Norman Bates have a motive? It's a lot scarier when there's no motive, Sid. That woman was a slut bag whore who flashed her shit all over town like she was Sharon Stone or something. That motive enough for you? Uh, it's not really justified, mate. Killing someone is... So my mother was fucking my father. She's the reason my mom moved out and abandoned me. Ah, uh, there we go. That's a motive. Not justified. Now you gotta die. Those are the rules. You're gonna love this. We got a surprise for you, Sydney. This guy's so weird. Gee. Oh, what do we have behind door number three, Sydney? They've had him for how long? Your daddy's the chief suspect. We cloned his cellular. The evidence is all right there, baby. Damn, they really figured this out, didn't they? I'm ready, baby. Gee. Hey, Lange, get up! Hey, <laughs> these guys are psycho. Ah! Oh, Give me the knife. So we're gonna carry on and plan the sequel. Create a gun! The gun, man, the gun. I put it right there. Right here, asshole. Yes! Finds the gun, foils your plan, and saves the day. I like that ending. No, it's not happening. It's not happening. Okay. No! Damn, that was easy. Love this. What? Are they all gone? Yes, come on. Oh, they, are they gonna do it back? Come on, Just freak these guys out. Are you alone in the house? <laughs> yes. You bitch, where the fuck are you? Find you, dipshit. Get out of the Billy. Are you coming, dipshit? You done goofed up, boys. Their physicality is so creepy, hey. They really do a good job. Police are on their way. What are you going to tell them? Peer pressure. I'm far too sensitive. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> mama's boy. Fuck. Fucking hit me with the phone, dick. This guy's got anger issues. Imagine if the police came in right now. <laughs> that would look so bad. <laughs> Your only advantage is using weapons. I always had a thing for you, Sid. Oh. In your dreams. <laughs> nice. Mate, so all the guys in their friendship circle had a crush on her. <laughs> That's pretty horrible. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Oh my god, Randy, I thought you were dead. I never thought I'd be so happy to be a virgin. Oh, gosh. Fuck her! That was funny. <laughs> Say hello to your mother. No! Yes! Nice. Would you look at that? She did take down the killer. I guess I remember the safety that time, you bastard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she did. This is the moment when the supposedly dead killer comes back to life for one last scare. <laughs> oh my gosh. Not in my movie. I mean, he did. Alright. Gee. Like this. Nice. It's better that she look all scratched up. This is Gail Weathers with an exclusive eyewitness account of this amazing breaking story. Well, she's gonna get that promotion she wants. It isn't over. Oh gosh, dude. Well, I loved that. That was really fun. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like some of the stuff was a little bit predictable, but I'm not sure whether the movie intentionally gave you enough details for you to figure it out or not, you know? Because sometimes when I watch movies like this, um, they, they make it really hard to figure things out and they do that on purpose, where I feel like maybe this movie kind of left you enough little hints so that most of the audience can kind of figure it out, you know? Um, I think you're meant to know that Billy was a murderer from pretty early on. I think you were meant to kind of have that in, in mind. Um, but his brother also being a killer. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure if it's his brother, but his friend. The guy who plays Shaggy, <laughs> that's all I know him as. 
Um, I'm fairly sure that that was supposed to be a bigger reveal than it was kind of for me, maybe. I'm not too sure. You guys can correct me on that. Um, yeah, no, I really, I really enjoyed it. Um, it's, it's kind of frustrating them kind of making fun of horror movies, the whole movie, and then they make all these terrible decisions as well. It was just like, come on, like, you should know better. Um, but hey, you can't really judge them too much, right? Because I feel like if I myself was in a situation that was very life or death, I could see myself making some stupid choices just on the fly, if you know what I mean? Yeah, so, I don't know, it's understandable sometimes. It was kind of cool to see the whole movie from the very start build some suspense. The only thing I'm really disappointed about is the fact that I didn't get to see Drew Barrymore more. I feel like her performance at the start was really compelling, and I kind of wish that she was the main character, not gonna lie. Um, yeah, I, I thought it was kind of cool, the whole the history thing about, you know, her mum and that kind of being this traumatic experience for her. It was kind of sad, though, for them to realize that her mum actually was kind of like someone who slept around a bit. I mean, I wasn't there, so I can't confirm, but you know, <laughs> as far as the characters were saying, that's what she was like. Uh, so, you know, it's a bit disappointing for Sydney, but yeah, I I think the other thing I was kind of frustrated about was the fact that Sydney was, she gave up her virginity for this asshole that basically the entire movie, whether he was a killer or not, was manipulating her into it, if, you, if that makes sense. I just feel like that was kind of really wrong. Um, you know, and she kind of paid the price. It's not her fault, you know, but uh, it's just, it's sad to see traumatic things happen to good people and then they're making poor choices. Yeah. Um, other than that, I really like the pacing of the movie. I really enjoyed it. I can see why it's just a classic horror movie and I'm keen to see some of the spoofs that are made, like, um, scary movie about it. Yeah, I'm keen to see those. So I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Stay cozy.